Know that that is normal. That is a version of you. That is a part of you. And don't suppress it. You know, be real with yourself. Allow yourself to get that feeling out of you. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that you should act on the feeling, but if you in a in a moment where this shadow has peaked his head, sit with her, sit with them, sit with him. Get to know them. Give them the time and attention and love that they never received. I'm going to have a good day, even if it don't go my way. I'm in flow. I'm okay. I'm expressing the best of me. If y'all like that intro song, stream Good Day by Shariah Wise on all your favorite music streaming platforms. Put it in your favorite playlist. Play it for the start of every day. Let that be the first song you play because that song I intentionally wrote to allow you to have the absolute best day you can expressing the best of yourself and being so in flow that despite whatever may happen that may not have been in plan, you see everything as an opportunity. So you're so graceful through the transition. Yes, ma'am. Stream Good Day by Shirai Wise. <laughs> uh, high vibrations, love, liberation, communication, and conscious conversation. Uh, welcome to episode three of the affirmation station podcast a safe space where we crystallize our waters and speak divinity into our being i'm so grateful to be here on episode three this is this is a trilogy oh you guys i'm so grateful to be here sharing space with you i am your host shariah wise i'm a being who creates to inspire high vibrational living so as i actively create my perception of heaven on earth I share what I can and we evolve, grow, and get better together. Yes, ma'am? First and foremost, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for creating space for me as I create space for you and we create space for us in this moment together. If you are listening to me audibly, let me set the scene for you. Of course, if you're watching me optically on YouTube or Spotify, hey, boo. Let's create the scene. So, right now, it is definitely later in the evening. I can tell you exactly. It is 8.36 p.m., okay? The sun is down. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling calm, and I'm feeling lifted, right? I have some leftover coffee that I put ashwagandha, lion's mane, cordyceps, turkey tail. Is that it? Yeah. I believe those are all the herbs that I have put in my coffee today. And I had a little bit left over from earlier today. So I'm like, you know what? Let me enjoy this right now with the tribe. And I'm going to use it as a pre-workout because after this, I'm going to the gym child. Okay. Also got some good Mountain Valley spring water. because That coffee sweet. Just went to get some sage because for this episode, again, we are going to fill our atmosphere with cleansing, rejuvenating energies, allowing us to be super neutral yet open to new ideas. Not even neutral. Feel how you feel. As I light my sage, I'm allowing the essence and the smoke of this bundle of sage to penetrate our atmosphere, filling our atmosphere with love, peace, calm, joy, abundance, prosperity, confidence, self-love, love, love, peace and calm, flow, joy, and awareness. So to my family that is experiencing me audibly, we are cleansing the space right now. And clearly, if you're watching me optically, receive this moment. And I am so immensely grateful for today's sponsor. Today, we have the universe sponsoring this video, offering us abundance, peace of mind, calm, fulfillment, support, knowing that we have everything we need in every moment and the ability to create our perception of heaven on earth. So with that being said, what are we even talking about today so with this being episode three you guys i wanted to do something a little bit different so what i'm going to do you can see me on screen but on my broadcast channel on instagram the wise tribe definitely feel free to join the wise tribe community i think we're pushing about 400 
fam in the tribe so if it's in alignment head to sharia wise on instagram and join the wise tribe broadcast channel and i asked any topics you would like me to chat about in a podcast and so i have a good amount of responses so i figured today we will just scroll pick one on screen and we just gonna talk about it let's do it all right so i'm gonna bring it to the top let's see oh Oh, so guys, my finger inadvertently jumped. I'm going to make sure I put the clip on the visual experience of this podcast episode. My finger, my hand kind of like jumped inadvertently. So I didn't mean to pick this, but it's almost like I was pushed to pick this topic here. And it says, love your shadows. Shout outs to Dark Womb 444 on Instagram for engaging in the broadcast channel and offering us this beautiful episode title loving your shadows this is beautiful this is what we're talking about today awesome so i'm gonna allow myself to just come into my body as much as i can and i'm allow myself to be a clear channel in this moment hey siri set an alarm for 22 minutes please so first off i feel your shadow is equivalent to the younger inner child version of you who had to or who naturally created certain coping mechanisms, certain thought processes, certain habits and behaviors that kept them safe for the moment that they were in, in that part of their journey. Now, some of these habits can be ones that are not favorable to or are not favorable or in alignment to the version of ourselves that we embody ourselves to be the best version of ourselves in our awakened and aware state of being. So I was actually looking at a video today, a podcast. I believe this is Dr. Bobby Price's podcast episode with Dr. Be Serious. Definitely go check that out, you guys. We have moments in our life, on our journey, from the time we can remember that are emotionally charged, whether those emotions are happy or whether those emotions are the opposite and unfavorable, not happy. You know what I'm saying? Sad, hurtful, what have you. Because it was so emotionally charged, it holds more of a space in our subconscious programmings and our belief systems, right? It it holds more weight because of that emotionally charged experience. And And also keep in mind that this emotionally charged experience, the coding that it formed on your subconscious is still active and it is triggered when a moment in your life comes back to that same frequency where it is aligned with that emotionally charged experience and then it shows itself because that's where it is needed you know what i'm saying that's where it is aligned i should say right and so some of these emotionally charged moments can imprint on our subconscious so much to the point where when something is triggered within you those unfavorable responses will come to the surface right because it's almost like it's been summoned right and that is an example of your shadow that is an example of an inner child version of you having a bodily response to protect themselves and feel safe in whatever moment they were in or the contrary it could be something that was so good uh, an emotionally charged moment that was favorable right but those typically leave healthier imprints on your subconscious rather than the moments that were emotionally charged that we perceived painful in any way or hurtful right the the moments that create the shadows i feel the most important thing one can do on the journey of loving their shadows is to every time you know you may see or experience your shadow show itself in your waking reality 
give that part of you love because that is equivalent you giving that part of you love and just like accepting her for who she is or accepting yourself that part of you that that aspect of you for who they are and accepting them unapologetically you are giving reassurance and acceptance to the inner child version of you that created that response that created that shadow right because for whatever reason that shadow was created to keep yourself safe because that is what you had to keep yourself safe but now that you know you are safe you still have to train your body's response to certain triggers right and for me i think it's so important to recite your affirmations every day in the morning when your brain is on those theta waves when you first wake up your mind your subconscious mind is more permeable to the ideas you offer it so if you intentionally recite affirmations for how you desire to be specifically i give all aspects of myself love i'm easily able to acknowledge parts of myself that were created when I was a child or a teenager or a younger adult and I give those versions of myself love while actively allowing myself to see and embody the habits and responses of the version of myself that is inevitably me that I am calling in because we always have the option to be a better version of ourselves and today this better version of ourselves that we're speaking of is the version of ourselves that loves our shadow and I think it's very important to allow yourself to feel how you need to feel that is a part of loving your shadows you know if you are feeling triggered for whatever moment or you you see the shadow version of you expressing itself know that that is normal that is a version of you that is a part of you and don't suppress it you know, be real with yourself, allow yourself to get that feeling out of you. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that you should act on the feeling, but if you in a, in a moment where this shadow has peaked his head, sit with her, sit with them, sit with him, get to know them, give them the time and attention and love that they never received, you know? And I feel like a lot of times we feel like our journey because inevitably loving your shadows is a self-love journey you know what i'm saying and so a lot of us on our self-love journey we get into the state of being where it's like we're in we're a self-improvement project you know and i think it's so amazing that self-development is a priority for all of us and it should be and it should remain that way but also acknowledge you living your life you correcting yourself, you acknowledging when there is a inner child version of you that is, you know, coming to the surface and you're allowing yourself to be in that moment. You know, you're not forcing yourself out of it just because you know that there's maybe a better perspective. You're not forcing yourself through your emotions. You're flowing through your emotions. You're flowing through your feelings, right? That in and of itself is also the journey of self-love and the journey of improving oneself and that's gonna help you love your shadows because you needed your shadows let's let's start there you know we, we may not want to hear it but I'm affirming that we're open to the idea that our soul chose our life's journey the obstacles because it is offering our soul some development we are humans we are souls and human beings bodies on earth experiencing earth right but we are souls here with an intention we chose this life so keeping that in mind it makes it a lot easier to just love yourself for who you are and acknowledging like hey i may be you know i'm saying i may be feeling away for whatever reason yeah because you came on earth to feel and feeling is a power right now once you give yourself that time and space to be where you are and acknowledge how you feel you have the conscious knowing that everything happens for my best and highest good because the shadow version of me made me you know what i'm saying the version of you that is is experiencing this episode today that shadow of you created you you know you are here for a reason everything you go through is for a reason and it sounds 
cliche, but it's true. It's like you are in this present moment. You have so much wisdom and experience because you've gone through things that created shadows that you are now in the space to be open to the idea of incorporating. You know what I'm saying? And not incorporating in a sense that, or let me not say incorporating, okay? But that you are, that you're safe with knowing it's there. And I think another part with loving your shadows is just to know that you have shadows. You know what I'm saying? And not that it's something that you would share openly because we have discernment in how we respond to life, but you have shadows. You know what I'm saying? You have been put through certain experiences that gives you more depth, you know, that gives you more of a story. And so remember that the healing is a part of the journey. The fact that we can have this conversation today about shadows and we're not running from it is shadow work that we're doing together right now. And it's so okay for you to feel how you feel in every moment, keeping the conscious awareness that you don't have to act on your feelings. You have to acknowledge your feelings. You do not have to act on your feelings, especially when you allow yourself to be present and authentic and ask yourself, where are these feelings coming from? A lot of times shadow feelings are coming from younger, less experienced, less aware, maybe even less protected versions of ourself. That is you, you know? It's like our vessels will always grow and evolve with time. But the imprints on our subconscious programming, our beliefs, our soul, what is imprinted is the emotional moments, the moments that were highly charged. Those moments imprint on our being and it remains us until we transmute that energy right it'll always be a part of you like i said because you are you and you've experienced what you've experienced for a reason because we needed this version of you right but remember that your shadow is you right and we come we become more aware remember that your shadow is you give it love love up on it don't suppress it but with this conscious awareness you now know that you have the choice of transmuting it, right? So you're gonna feel those feelings. You're gonna acknowledge those feelings. You're gonna give attention and love to those feelings because like we said plenty of times already, those are feelings from a younger version of you because the younger versions of you are still alive within you. You're gonna love up on those feelings. You're gonna feel those feelings. You're gonna feel the triggers. Be real with yourself. Oh, I'm triggered right now? Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, that was my I am present alarm. I am present. Thank you. And after you allow yourself time to feel the feelings, remember that you have the ability to choose to upgrade your perception of the emotionally triggered event, the emotionally heightened event that may have triggered a certain shadow. You have the choice and the ability to perceive that shadow as a version of you that was needed so that you can transmute that energy. Also consciously remembering that when you are transmuting these energies from younger versions of yourself, when you transmute that within your body and within your mind, you are transmuting that for every human being that comes after you if you do choose to procreate okay because healing it in yourself heals it for generations so feel empowered to be the one that got chosen to take on the task of transmuting those shadows okay this is deep and every time you may have a moment where you need to do some self-correction know that that is you physically enacting the loving on your shadow if you want to love on your shadow acknowledge it and when it peaks his head choose to let that version of you know let that version the previous version of you that created that shadow 
let that version of you know that you are safe. I see you. I acknowledge you. You are safe to express how you feel. Right? You, More specifically, you are safe to feel how you feel. Feel it. I have learned from you. You know? And then choose to hug that version of you. And take your perception to not only remind yourself of the transmuting that you're doing, reminding yourself that this trigger is showing you that it just needs more attention. This this version of you, the shadow of you that is presenting itself is simply showing itself because it needs some love and attention. So give it that love and attention and then choose to have the willpower to respond to your shadow which in turn allows you to have a more graceful and balanced approach or response to whatever brought up that shadow. And I want you to know that your shadows make you so beautiful. It makes you eclectic, okay? You're interesting. Maybe there was a point of me personally on my journey where I kind of wish that I was coddled a little bit more and I wish that I was given the attention that I desired you know and just little things that I wish I would have experienced as a child but I didn't experience what I needed in that moment for a reason so that I can teach myself how to experience or how to to offer myself the acknowledgement and the fulfillment and the esteem that I need okay so that is my cue to wrap up this episode you guys and I just want us to feel so empowered to know that loving your shadow is a continuous journey. It is not one that stops because that is a younger version of you just showing itself because that version of you is in you, right? Loving your shadows is a journey that may never stop, but the more you transmute the energies of your shadows in a healthy way, the more it becomes a norm for you to acknowledge like oh okay i'm feeling this way in my body which may be that shadow but the transition of you transmuting that energy into a discerning mature response will become quicker and quicker and quicker okay because you're now showing your body and you know this version of you that it is safe for you to express in a way that is more desirable for you, right? Or respond to yourself in a way that is more desirable for you. You guys, please let me know what y'all think about the ideas that I shared in today's episode. I think it's so important for us to love on our shadows because anyway, don't don't get me to repeat it myself, you guys. I wanna hear from you. If you have a space where you can leave a comment, please leave a comment. And if you have any advice or ideas or experience or anything that you want to share on today's episode of loving and embracing our shadows please share it in the comment section if there's a chat box share it there if you made it to the end of this episode you are officially a part of the wise tribe so i am inviting you to join me on all of my other social platforms that is shariah wise on all social platforms on instagram join my broadcast channel i'm currently working on a discord you guys so that we can just foster more community because because there's a lot of intentional, amazing, creative human beings in the Wise Tribe community. So I want to create avenues where we can connect. You know, I'm also working on subscriber um, content on my socials. So we could like, you know, maybe get on Instagram and have face-to-face conversations with each other in an exclusive, private subscriber vibe. You know what I'm saying? I can also see what TikTok subscribers is like, but I know Instagram probably gives you a lot more one-on-one time with each other you know it gives us a lot more one-on-one time with each other you could have like four people on the screen at one time and we could have a face-to-face conversation a few times out of the week or what have you or whatever that may be 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm creating in this moment so many avenues for us to connect. But in the meantime, follow me on all of my social platforms. You can also catch me at shariawise.com. Okay, if you want to learn more about me, see other things that I've done, created. If you want to get some merch, I actually just created some amazing, phenomenal new merch for shariawise.com. So I'm going to probably do a mini unboxing here on an episode episode once those samples get to me and once i can confirm that i am offering the wise tribe quality high vibrational products also you guys now if you want to connect with the podcast follow the affirmation station podcast on instagram that is affirmation station podcast on instagram follow the affirmation station pod on tiktok let me confirm that name yes and follow the affirmation station pod on tiktok right now you guys now in addition to that you guys i'm so excited to announce that i have just relaunched my high vibrational boutique at illuminatelifecompany.com where you have apparel and products for you to wear and express your divinity proudly okay so if you are a high vibrational being and you desire to experience products and apparel that will help you express the divinity within you the consciousness within you the spiritual being within you more head to illuminatelifecompany.com and use code wise tribe for 15 percent off yes ma'am and thank you so much for experiencing and creating this moment with me today. I am your host, Shariah Wise, and I will see you in the next episode of the Affirmation Station podcast. See you soon.